Hey folks, it's Lauren from Snowy's here with the Dometic Safari Chef 30. Hit it. This is an ultra compact and portable cooking system with four different cooking modalities with a regulated gas supply for simmer control and efficiency. Hold up to make sure you don't miss any of our awesome content. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get back to it. So your cook system will come in this handy storage bag that obviously also doubles as a carry bag. We've got a reinforced handle on the top here. It's made from quite a heavy duty um, material, which I'm assuming is a polyester here. On the back, we've got an elastic pocket, which is quite stretchy and roomy. You could probably fit something reasonable in there. I'm not sure what, maybe um, some tea towels or what have you. Now inside the, oh, I should say, sorry, the pack dimensions are 32 centimetres in diameter by about 23 centimetres high and it weighs 4.2 kilos. So not heavy at all, very portable, um, good for maybe a day trip to the, to the park uh, or even away on a camping trip as well, maybe even down the beach. So inside the lid of our storage bag there is a tiny little bit of padding because we've got this pocket here which keeps our uh, grill plates hot plates etc uh, stored out of the way so i'll just set them aside there for now we've got our gas hose which is an lc c27 hose so this is the new uh, australian gas association standard which is an upgrade on the pol so if you have an lcc 27 hose it will need to be connected to an lcc 27 gas bottle so the body of the cooker and a couple of other components here which i'll run through quickly with the setup so i just pop the bag aside now the cooker, as you can see from before, has these little legs that are folded into place. So it's just a matter of simply lifting them up and clicking them into place. So they are spring loaded as well um, with their little locking mechanism. So this uh, big button on the outside here is that locking clip. So once they're open, you can, you know, I can put a fair bit of muscle into that and there's absolutely no chance that they're going to fold in you're, you're going to be snapping the um, plastic housing of the stove really before those legs give way so we're going to set that one up like so now if you are wanting to just use a fry pan or a saucepan or something you already have everything that you need you can just set this little pot support in these three slots around the outside edge they're coated with this little uh, rubber bumper here as well so it's there's it's not going to slip or come out at all um, and then you can just pop your pot on or your fry pan on and away you go but if you happen to be wanting to do some grilling um, or something and using the extra accessories that come with the Kadak or it's a day like today and it's bloody windy you might want to put on your little windshield or your shroud your little burner shroud so that's going to sit on there like so and from here again you can just pop your little pot uh, your little pot support in now that's going into these three little notches on your little wind shroud like so and that's going to lock into place so that gives you an excellent little surface here uh, protection from wind for your pots your fry pans what have you now the cooker also comes with a couple of cook plates so the first one is this solid hot plate and we've also got this open barbecue grill plate now both of these are covered um, like in a non-stick coating that Dometic call uh, green grill which is essentially um, a ceramic non-stick coating so that's all the way across your grill plate here and we've also got that all over the heat plate as well so with uh your cooker or your little cooking system here we're going to have this little tray which is essentially a fat catcher so if you're going to be doing any grilling you're going to have fat and things that are dripping through to the base here and obviously with that exposed flame that's going to be a little bit of a hazard like you're not going to want anything catching on fire so our little uh, fat catcher plate is going to sit underneath like so and then depending on what you want to use you can pop your grill plate on 
and that just sits on the top of the stove or interchangeably we've got our hot plate which again just sits on the stove top like so and this little uh, cover underneath here is like a little heat diffuser or heat dispenser which is going to make sure that even though the flame's just coming up straight from the center it's going to be covering this whole surface of your hot plate or your grill plate when you've got your hot plate on or your grill plate on the cooker you've got your lid here that can simply sit over the top we've got these little tabs here that will hold that lid in place so you're still going to have some heat and um, air being able to move through the cooker around to keep you burning nice and efficient but whatever you've got on that hot plate is going to be covered in by your lid there so it's going to create a nice hot little section uh, maybe if you're grilling and you need to just tenderize your meat after you've charred on the sides um, and the same thing goes with the grill if the grill's in place like so the lid is just going to sit on these three little uh, ledges and again just creating a nice little trapped heat space there for your cooking system so the neat thing about this lid is that it also does double as a uh, something you can cook out of so whether you want to use I don't know if you call it a wok or a pot or, or what have you so that will sit neatly on the pot support like so and you can just use this to cook out of as well to save you from bringing anything extra that you might need so realistically the whole unit is a complete uh, very light very compact very portable cooking system so we do have a bit of wind here today, but I'm going to hook it all up. Now, first things first is you will have a little rubber cap over the gas um, connecting port on the stove. It's really helpful to keep a hold of this and put it back on when you're packing up just to stop any dust or dirt or bits and pieces getting in there um, between uses. Now the hose has this funny little, I don't know, sort of starfish looking thing on the end of it. And as you can see, it's shaped the same way as um, the connecting nut on the gas hose. We're just going to slide that up and over the nut like so. And that's actually just gonna help us tighten the connection and make it a lot easier to get that gas hose really fully tightened on like so and then once it's done that'll just fall back down the hose um, and again it's something that's going to be really easy to help you untighten it when it's ready to pack away now inversely we're going to connect uh, the other end to our gas bottle now obviously when you're connecting up gas appliances make sure to do all your safety checks for leaks and things like that so another thing to mention obviously is this giant big silver thing here is a regulator which means that this cooker does require a regulated gas supply which and you can't swap this hose out for um, an alternative hose it's must be used with the one that it's supplied with so we're going to open up the gas bottle now so once we've got gas to the unit, uh, it does have a click or a push button piezo. So the stove knob can't actually turn. So we're gonna push our stove knob in and we're gonna turn it to the flame or the little lightning symbol and we're gonna press our push button piezo and that's gonna light up straight away. So it's obviously quite a windy day today and we do have our wind shroud on. So I'm just gonna hold this lid over the top. Now I'm not gonna stop the wind too much, but I just wanna create enough shadow there for you to be able to see the flame on camera. Now it's probably also a really good test, given how windy it is, to see how this goes without the wind shroud, just to give you a bit of an idea on the power of the gas and the burner here. So um, it burns at just over 5,000 BTU. So I think uh, 5,120 to be exact. And it's gonna consume on its maximum setting around 106 grams of gas per hour. So we've obviously got this one uh, rolling on the maximum setting here. And if we wanna turn it down and simmer it, it's just a matter of, of pushing in the, the stove knob and rotating it down like so and again pushing in the stove knob and rotating it up again yeah so the flame control on the stove does go down quite low um, and it will be efficient for simmering in a whole range of different cooking options rightio so i'm just going to turn off the stove now like so so as you can see it does perform pretty well in the wind i i don't know about you but i was personally a little bit surprised about that now, when your unit is fully set up, I realize I haven't run through the dimensions with you guys. So at the base of the unit, 
right to the extension of the legs on all three sides. We're going to have a 36 diameter across. And then when it's fully set up like so, we've got all our bits and pieces and with our lid on, it's going to have a maximum of 41 centimetres in height. So that's about it for the Dometic Safari Chef 30 cooking system. Great little unit for a day trip to the park, down to the beach, or even a nice little compact cooking system for your camping trips. You can get this at snowies.com.au.